In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the heart of your faithful, grant that by the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Saint Joseph, our protector, pray for us. My God, I believe that I am your divine presence and I adore you. Thank you for the many blessings you grant me. Forgive me my offenses against you. Assist me in this holy meditation. Enlighten my mind, inflame my heart, move my will to action, and keep far from me all barriers to my spiritual growth. Holy Mary, Mother of Jesus, and my Mother also. Saint Joseph, my protector and patron, my guardian angel, all the angels and saints in heaven, pray for me and assist me in this holy meditation. Amen. Good day, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Holy Thursday, and we celebrate today the institution of the Most Holy Eucharist by our Lord Jesus Christ at the Last Supper, and also the institution of the Sacred Ministerial Priesthood. Today we recall the events on that fateful evening when Christ commanded his apostles to do all he had done in his memory thereby entrusting them with the sacred duty of celebrating the Eucharist and to shepherd his flock. The celebration of today being Holy Thursday, beginning with the events of the Chrism Mass, reminds us of the pivotal moment that marks the beginning of the mysterious priesthood in the New Covenant, where priests are called to act in persona Christi Capiti, in the person of Christ the Head, as they offer sacrifice at Mass and exercise their pastoral ministry. And so it is important for us to wish priests all over the world on this day a happy feast day. May the good Lord continue to bless his ministers, continue to strengthen them, and may the zeal for the house of the Lord continue to burn bright in their lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus, the eternal high priest, is the ideal model of the priestly life. And he calls priests to follow in his full step of the life of selfless service to God and humanity. In Christ, a priest is called to offer himself as an oblation a holocaust, a living sacrifice dedicated to the praise and worship of God, as well as becoming a vessel, a channel, through which grace and blessings from God flow to his holy people. By being the good shepherd, Christ himself modeled in his earthly life the face of the eternal Father who in sincere love offered all for the salvation of mankind. Christ also, by inference to his earthly life and parentage, reflected the face of St. Joseph, his father, who offered all for the interest of the two most important treasures God entrusted in his care, and that is Jesus and Mary. Therefore, being the Father, model, and guide of the eternal High Priest here on earth, St. Joseph can rightly be acknowledged as the model for priests. Now you and I will ask, was St. Joseph a priest? How then can he become a model for priests? He was even of the tribe of Judah, and so was not a Levite, and therefore, how can we equate the person of St. Joseph with the ministerial priesthood? I will highlight five points to show that the person of St. Joseph indeed is a model for the priests of today. The first, St. Joseph was entrusted with the care of Jesus. 
And it is so beautiful that on this day being Holy Thursday, the institution of the Holy Eucharist follows with the institution of the sacred priesthood. It means that God, the Eternal Father himself, handed over the body of Christ to his ministers, unworthy though they are, in order for them, by the action of the Holy Spirit, to transform the ordinary work of hand, bread and wine, into the body and blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. This also pictures in a very beautiful way the placing in the hands of Saint Joseph, the infant Jesus, the eternal high priest, the body himself, who under the care of Saint Joseph was protected, was guided, was preserved, and was cherished and adored. Saint Joseph shows us as priests today the disposition we should have for the mystical body of Christ. The disposition we should have in adoring and giving due reverence to that sacred species that lies in our palms at every Eucharistic celebration. Saint Joseph shows the priests what it means to love and cherish the Eucharist as the center of all that we have and are. The priest of today is called to love the Eucharist as Saint Joseph loved Christ, to have the Eucharist at the center of his heart, and to live each day doing all to preserve the faith of the church and to defend the body of Christ. Saint Joseph also and the second point was a man of humble authority and holy obedience. Being the earthly father of Jesus and being the head of the holy family, Saint Joseph was a man who showed the distinct quality of what it means. Even though as head and father, he was indeed humble. He was simple. He was docile to the holy will of God and he was obedient to God in all that he did. The priest of today is called to be a man who is but a servant, one who is called to shepherd the flock. A priest today is called to be a man who dies to himself in order to live for others, obedient always to the will of God and not his own intuition his own desire, his own interest. St. Joseph shows us all of this and more in his life. He never said anything, but he did all at the service of Jesus and Mary. And this will lead us to the third point. St. Joseph was a man of service and sacrifice. All St. Joseph did was for the interest of Jesus. He gave himself, he gave his all and did not mind saying not a single word because all that mattered to St. Joseph was to present Jesus to the world. A priest is not his own, but a priest is a man endowed with the character of Christ. And so just as Christ the head, the high priest, a priest is called is to offer himself in humble service and sacrifice. Just as the Eucharist we have been handed on to today, we too as priests are called to become bread, broken for the life of our brothers and sisters. We must be willing to die just like our Master, upon the cross of worldly gains and pleasure. We must die to sin, die to our pride, die to our selfish desire, sacrifice all for the salvation of humanity without also losing our own souls at the end of time. Saint Joseph was a man of holiness of life and had passion to do God's will as our next point. He cherished holiness so much and he even saw that in the life of our Blessed Mother 
and did all in his capacity to preserve that holiness. St. Joseph calls the priest of today to be a man who is holy, a man who is modest, a man who is simple, a man who is God-fearing. The priest of today is one who mirrors the person of Christ, who is a light in the dark, and who shows people the way to go in order to be united always to the heart of the Eternal Father. In the life of a priest, the shepherd, the sheep must always feel the presence of God. And so St. Joseph invites all of us priests to always think at all times the holy will of God in our words, in our thoughts, in our actions. All that we do must be in humble service of God. And so a priest must be a man of prayer, a man of sincere sacrifice and devotion. A priest must be in constant communion with Christ, just as St. Joseph beheld the face of Christ every day of his life. A priest must have time for the Eucharist. A priest must offer himself at every sacrament as an act of sincere love and charity to God and to humanity. A priest must be disposed to doing everything out of love, not for worldly pleasure and gain, but for the salvation and sanctification of his own soul and the souls of the flock entrusted in his care. Finally, St. Joseph was a man of purity and a model for the celibate life. And in this, the priest sees the call to uphold the virtue of chastity. A priest is one who is called to offer all for the sake of the kingdom. And so no greater love that a man can have than to lay down his life for his friends. And even in the vow of celibacy, a priest realizes that he has dedicated everything to God. And he has nothing of his own, but he has been consumed in love and has offered that love to the one who loved him first. And in the same way, he extends that act of sacrifice to his brothers and sisters by offering himself without reservation in order to save their soul. And so celibacy becomes an integral part of the life of a priest, just as St. Joseph will remind us to be pure, to be holy, to be chaste for the kingdom of God. It is our prayer this day that St. Joseph will continue to teach us the essence of being a priest. And just as he loved Jesus and Mary tenderly, he invites all priests today both the ministerial priests and even all of us who share in the common priesthood of Christ, to always remember that in all that we do, we must do it for the interest of Jesus. And so today we are called to pray for our priests, our sacred ministerial priests, that God will continue to keep them holy. He will continue to draw them close to his heart. He will continue to strengthen his priests so that their sacrifices daily will be acceptable before him. And may God, through his priests, continue to bless his church, bless his flock, so that we will continue to have one flock and one shepherd. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. To you, blessed Joseph, we come in our trials. And having asked the help of your most holy spouse, we humbly ask your patronage also. Through that sacred bond of charity, through the fiery love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you to look graciously upon the beloved inheritance which Jesus Christ purchased by his blood, and to aid us in our necessities with your power and strength. O most provident guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. Most beloved Father, dispel the evil of falsehood and sin. 
and most mighty protector, graciously assist us from heaven in our struggle with the powers of darkness. And just as he once saved the child Jesus from mortal danger, so now defend God's holy church from the snares of our enemies and from all adversity. Shield each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your help, we may be able to live a virtuous life, to die a holy death, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.